California, and specifically the Bay Area, is known for its diversity. There are a bunch of different types of people here and a bunch of different types of Muslims. Because of that, San Francisco Bay Area is known for its fusion halal food. This weekend, we're going to three and we're gonna figure out which one is the best. The best on three things. Taste, creativity, value. So, inshallah, let's see what we get. So I called my friend Irfan. Welcome, son. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. How are you? He runs the Halal Fest in California. It's one of the most like epic programs in all of North America. What would you say are three of like your favorite spots? One of the top things on his list for fusion, Zareem's. American Pakistani fusion. So they have a lot of the regular stuff that you'd find at a Pakistani or Indian restaurant, Nahari, biryanis. They also have these fusion burgers. Came to the spot thinking we'd sit here, order three different things, try all of them. And yeah, we could eat outside, but it's like 50 degrees, a little bit cold outside. He's got a jacket, he didn't let me wear it. It's you a mean? sizing issue. I tried the lessee. <laughs> see, see I see. did try the lessee. I mean, it's a good lessee. You know, it, you can't go wrong with mango lessee, but it's not like, oh my God, best mango lessee I've had in the history of the dunya. There's also this new drink. Now this I've never seen. Amin got this drink, and when I saw it, I'm like, man, I should have gotten it. Coca-Cola. I don't drink soda often, okay? We actually call it pop for Minnesota, but when you're eating a burger and fries, it just it just works well. Now here's the thing, on the Lussie, one of the biggest issues that you find with Mango Lussie is it's too sweet. This is not too sweet. Thank you, appreciate it. All right, so we first got this very special type of a samosa. They had it in the Michelin Guide. This samosa. Which basically means some very important people said that this was very delicious. We basically asked the guy at the front, look, what is your most popular fusion burger? And he said, it's a Punjabi chicken burger. But fusion is when you take two things and you put them together. Think about your two favorite animals, a giraffe and a lion. Put them together, lie graph. That's fusion. Similarly with colors, when you mix colors, you get other colors. With food, you mix different types of food. So here, we're mixing Pakistani flavors with American things, like burgers. We, we elected to get the jalapeno and the cheese. Ooh. Come on, Raheem. Yo, this is good. This is really good, actually. It tastes a little bit like a chapti kebab. There is a like spice to it. I don't think kids are gonna enjoy this because there's a little bit of a spice mm -hmm. to it. The chicken, there's a crispiness to it. Like, as if they kind of like pan fried it or yeah. something. There's like a crispiness to it. This is a good sandwich. So the second thing that we got was this samosa. Fish with the sauce. After we do this, I have to go give two speeches. So if, in the off chance, a little bit of ketchup drips down and lands on my shirt, I'm in big trouble. You know how like churros have like the cinnamon around it? This, it's not sugar, but it's got something on the outside which also coats your mouth, yeah. which is kind of like a really exciting texture. That that brown sauce is slightly sweet. It's very good. Mm. Oh my God. If I met Zareen, I would say that she did a good job. Mashallah. Mm -hmm. Dude, my denim is a big problem. Code red. Oh my God. They got you too, huh, Jake? Jake, what do you think? A lot of bun, a lot of lettuce. It's kind of killing the flavors of the chicken. But the samosa was so good. A lot of love back. So once Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be on him, is sitting with a bunch of his friends, kids, and they're eating food. And the Prophet, peace and blessings be on him, looks at him. He's like, oh, shaitan is here. And they're like, what? And he says, yeah, because you didn't say bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And so, before we eat, we should always say Bismillahirrahmanirrahim to make sure that Shaitan is not sitting at the dinner table with us. My wife and I used to live in the Bay Area, and every time we would come down to Fremont, we would go to one restaurant. It's called Mirchi's. Mirchi is real deal fusion of American and Pakistani food. I have to say, like, my memories of Mirchi are like, Amazing. I think Amin is very emotionally attached to beer cheese. So it's a good thing we have multiple people scoring here. Look at this, a love story. Allahu Akbar, a love <laughs> Bjarka story. Inspired by many trips with my husband to Pakistan oh, and my wow. love for cooking. 
by Lisa Ahmed. Where'd she that's, stay? Dude, that's not it's that's, super fusion. No, it's not. Yo, chicken tikka pizza. Yo, lasagna pasta. Let's go. I got one more. It's chicken wings for you. Oh, let's go. What? Oh, let's so go. these are chicken wings. Chicken meaning the animal, and wings meaning it's the part of the animal. Yo, make the noise. Make the noise. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You can't go wrong with chicken wings. You can't go wrong with chicken wings. This is crispy. It's the real deal. When you go to a Pakistani restaurant called Mirchi's, you wouldn't expect to get chicken wings. So that in of itself proves that this is in fact huge. I mean, you're thinking chicken mm. and aloo tikki, right? We have just got the Shazan Club. It's three layers, chicken on it, an egg, and it's also got some uh, Pakistani slices. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dude, I can get down with that. The bread, crispy. You get the fullness of the egg mm. uh, with the chicken, and then, of course, the mayonnaise. Yeah. Which, all Dude. together, like, it's mashallah. So Dude, mango dusty is comparable to the other one. Would you rather be drinking in the parking lot? Okay, so this is one level above. <laughs> A lot of people know that my favorite food is lasagna. And so when I saw lasagna on the menu, I got excited. Especially because this lasagna is a little bit different. It's a lasagna pasta. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I can doubt that. You know, when you've had a long week and you're looking forward to spending some time with your mom and her home cooking, next to a cozy fireplace, nestled underneath a blanket, eating s'mores and watching the Vikings win a game. I mean, like, you know, just comfort. It's like a hug. It's like a hug for your mom on a special day. The reason why we did fusion is because we wanted things that were the best of both of us. When you think about the best American food, pizza. When you think about the best of Pakistani food, chicken tikka. Put them both together, chicken thicka pizza. Alhamdulillah, honestly, it's great. Food fact, Ka'an three. One, two, three, food, food fact. fact! Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be on him, says, blessings are in food when it is eaten between washing hands. Meaning what? Before we eat food, we should wash our hands. After we eat food, we should wash our hands too. Mm. Yo, dude, this is it. This is it. So Hot Shop is now this. Hot Shop used to be my favorite restaurant. Okay. And so we're back for a weekend. Um, and so we're recording a video to figure out what is the best halal fusion restaurant oh, man. in all the Bay Area. So what makes it fusion? Our food is very much Mission Mexican food. What makes it Afghan is two things. It's our way, the way that we marinate our meats and then the secret golden sauce that we use to cook the food. Secret. It is really a secret. Can you tell us what's inside of it? I can't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. This is the nachos. Dude, this the nachos. looks crazy. There's, there's so much in here. You got to try to find the chip. Actually, I should probably use a chip. Amin is an expert with nachos. I, I really like nachos a lot. Here. And then you can use another nacho to help spoon it on for you. Ooh. You got it? Yeah. All right. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Oh, that's good. That chicken, it is tender. All right, melt in your mouth tender. It's marinated to perfection. Not so spicy that it's no, overpowering, yeah. but enough to make your mouth tingle a little bit. <laughs> and it has Afghani flavor mm -hmm. as well, right? That's so we're having part. a traditional Mexican dish, nachos, yeah. in the Afghani variety. This is proper fusion. And likely only in the Bay Area. Yeah. Like, wait about to get this somewhere else. It's a blasphemous to eat a nacho with a fork. Oh, amazing. What we got here is a quesadilla. My memory is that the sauce with this is pretty good, but we'll do it without the sauce first. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. There's no shortage of sauce in this. Dude, that yellow sauce is so good. If they put it into a beverage, I wouldn't consider drinking it. Like, it's really, it's got so much flavor in it. 
you know, a lot of places have their secret sauce. That's a real deal secret sauce. I have a feeling that this burrito is going to taste very similar to the quesadilla, minus all the cheese, which is very similar to the nachos, except it's chicken. It's kind of like, you know, sometimes you have a nasheed artist that you like, yeah. and they've got like one greatest hit. Yeah. And you just want to hear that greatest hit over and over and over again. That's kind of what they're doing here. Yeah. It's like one flavor that you, you have the secret sauce. over and over and over and over and over again. You guys are right. The chicken is like so good. That's a treat. That's a real treat. Alhamdulillah. That's good. Dude, nobody knows what Amin is doing. Nobody, <laughs> nobody uh, knows. Am I eating Jake's? No. <laughs> oh, I'm not. Okay. The issue is for sure in the secret sauce, there is... Turmeric. Turmeric. And mm. turmeric's not about to come out. We went to... Zareen's. We went to... Erchi. And we went to... Afghan Burrito. Yes. Alright, three very different restaurants. Again, criteria, taste, creativity, value. Hassan, my pick is Afghan Burrito. Hands down. Wow. No, no doubt about it. From a creativity standpoint, maybe Mirchi's wins from a creativity standpoint. From a value standpoint, they're all pretty much tied. I think they're all relatively the same in cost. But I think the flavors here were so great that I would choose Afghan Burrito. I literally came to the Bay Area thinking that I was going to pick Afghan Burrito, yeah. and I'm not. I think based off taste, creativity, and value, there's one winner, and it's hands down, and it's Zarif. Like real talk, completely different flavors. Like that burger, completely different than that samosa. And we only ordered two things because yeah. we couldn't do it in store. I wonder if I ordered more things, like gosh, what would that have tasted like? Yeah. If you are into desi food, Zarin's does that amazing. I think my favorite type of food amongst all the types of food is Afghani food to begin with. So it's interesting because my favorite is Mexican. Well, right? Like it's my jam. <laughs> Right? Mexican food. You guys, there you have it. We did the fusion thing in the Bay Area, and the winner is Zarin's. No, <laughs> it's a tie. Wait, hold on, there's a tiebreaker. Jake. What I would say is that Mirchi's, Mirchi Cafe, we got value in an experience. Hmm. Manager came out, chef came out. That like felt really good. And I think creativity Mirchi did really well too. Lasagna, pasta, straight up Mirchi's. This is a testament to the culture of fusion food here. The fact that we all chose three different spots. I mean, there's some good food. Dude, 100%. And by the way, I think that's one of my favorite things about being Muslim because when I was a kid, I thought Muslim people were just Pakistan. Turns out, Muslims aren't Pakistan. They're not Indian. They're not Afghani. They're not Mexican. They're not Vietnamese. They're not Japanese. They're not any of those. They are all of them. And when you bring it all together, you get what we had this weekend, fusion. Right? Best of best. Zareen's, Afghan Burrito, Mirchi, all of them. Insane. Check them out. And comment below. And smash the subscribe button. And hit the like button. We'll see you later. If you enjoyed that video, I invite you to join us in the Muslim Treehouse. Twice a week, we do live programs with thousands of Muslim kids from all across the world. And the best part? You can pay whatever you want to join. Go to norkids.com slash treehouse and join us.